everybody, Complete Pete here. I wanted to talk uh, today about uh, receiver hitches. Uh, I have this receiver on my uh, new F-150. Uh, love the truck. Uh, don't love replacing rusty receiver hitches. I'm going to put up a picture of what my old hitch looked like. The hitches get so rusted and corroded, um, and most of the time I don't have, um, I don't use the hitch. I just use it once in a while for uh, uh, kayak support or a small trailer on occasion, but I don't ride around with a, uh, a ball on the back of that. Uh, if you could take a, uh, a look at this, you can see the receiver. This is just a, a month of driving around in the winter. You see all this junk and grit that gets in there. Plus you can see the tube is open on the back. Um, so when you're driving, all that salt and snow and rocks and dirt, I actually picked out a bunch of rocks that were just sitting in here. Uh, they will sit inside, they will rot this out. There's a lot of debris in here. Um, and when you put your, uh, the hitch assembly in there, it starts grinding away at the paint and the powder coat. Okay, as you can see on the, the two inch receiver, I've got it wiped out with some simple green. One of the things that happened to my other receiver was from the, from the dirt and stuff inside, the metal had actually swelled up and started puffing up and sloughing off in sheets, uh, which wouldn't allow us to get the uh, the hitch assembly in there. I actually had to use a sledgehammer to pound it out before. I might show a humorous video of that if I can find the clip. Also at the end of the two inch tube, there's a welded ring on here, and you can see there is a gap right here in the bottom. The water and the muck will collect right in there, and it'll start rotting this off and swelling up. So, what I did was I got myself a, a, what I think is a preventive measure. I just got a couple of two-inch Kurt, um, you know, receiver plugs. They're just friction fit. They're rubber. I kind of like that because they'll kind of keep it a little waterproof as much as possible. It's a Kurt uh, 22276. And all I'm going to do is pop this out. There's all kinds of different brands and things. These are just from uh, Amazon. So you can see it's kind of a, it's a flexible rubber material, which I kind of like. Um, and I'm going to stick that right into the hitch and just gonna push it in. All right, and that's going to seal it up for me. Now, not wanting to stop there. Now, I don't want to create a spot in my receiver that this is going to fill with water and the water will be held in by a giant rubber plug. Um, I bought a second plug because the back of the uh, receiver is wide open and that's where all the junk is, is getting thrown up in there. So I'm actually going to take this underneath and mount it on the back side. As you can see, the back side is wide open here and this is where all that junk goes up inside. So I'm also going to seal up the back side with another rubber plug. Now I'm completely waterproofed. Not to be outdone. And simply because, you know, I'm going to keep the majority of water out. There's also the 5 8 pinhole on both sides. I do have a Haco product that I was able to find and I'll put the link up on where to get that. It's actually from my friends at McMaster Car. And these are, it's a plastic plug and it has a little, uh, little lock ears on it. But the interesting part is this part is a flexible rubber, a flexible seal. So all I'm going to do is stick that right into the hole and press it in. Same thing on the other side. And, they, and, they, and they're nice and tight, but they also pop right back out again. You can pull them right back out, but I believe they're gonna keep out the majority of water out of my receiver. And I think I won't have to buy a brand new truck anytime soon.